Oh, look at, look, at, look at the jack, look at the jack. Look at the free swimming jack, just there, look. Yep, yeah, got him. Yeah. So I casted a jack. <laughs> What is going on guys? What a day for us today. It's been one of those days where we sort of, we thought we knew what was gonna happen and we thought we could try and plan today to be absolutely perfect, but it just didn't work out for us like that. First bit of the morning was um, me forgetting my harness for the GoPro. So I had to go to Harvey Norman to buy another one. And then when I got here, I forgot Oh, I realized I didn't have the housing for the GoPro either. So, I don't know if you could see this, but I've made a harness out of fishing line or a bit of leader that was just laying around in the tackle box. But we've been really, really struggling today. Really struggling. Uh, I haven't had the GoPro running at all. We've been up a creek or two creeks that have been pretty reliable to us and we've got nothing. So we thought we'd do something a little bit different and hit a headland. And within a couple minutes we banked a, a nice barrel and here he is here nice very late 40s possibly or early 50s barrel on the Biharara right there nice little fish I'll tell you what we've worked so hard for this fish but the tides turn the water's moving I think we're on a bit of a pattern here we'll see how we go so we'll take the hooks out and we'll let him go So that fish ended up being 54 centimeters, and we're gonna try and get another one. So we'll keep going. And I was gonna go pro on this time as well. Mm. I should try the electric. Had a hit, bar in there. Gosh, got crunched on the pause. I got absolutely, like, literally on the pause, and I felt. Yeah, he's hooked well, he's hooked well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Nice, Jack, man, nice. Oh. We're on them. The move was exactly what we wanted. Oh, as Carl was saying before, we've been struggling today, but we just went up a new creek where there's probably a little bit less volume of water and hoping that there might be a bit more movement in the current. And uh, what have we been here, five, ten minutes? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Carl's already been smashed by something huge, either a bar or a jack, and lost it. We managed to catch this little sucker. Nice That's fish. Beautiful fish, eh? Hey? Nice fish, man. Really nice. Anyway, I'm going to keep this one. We'll take him home for dinner. Nice. Some kids, but uh, we'll crack on and keep catching some more, hopefully. Yeah. Nice Let's do it. Right, lure back on. Throw on the new Aggressor Pro by Dragon. Awesome little lure. Super, super awesome action. Trying it weedless and it snags. Tell you what, it's been a mammoth of a day, but I reckon we'll, it's gonna turn on for us now. Hopefully, that's the plan. Fish these sort of deeper stuff sitting on the bottom there. Hop them on the bottom. Can't believe I lost that barrel before. That was a good fish. Felt like, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez! 
What is that? Ready? I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm chasing it now. I'm stuck in your line. I think that's a barra, man. Just talking about hopping them in and out, but this thing has just grabbed it and run. Oh, it's a Trev. Holy moly. That just went crazy. No, I'm right. Oh, there we go, look at that. Little, not bad for a little creek GA. There we go. Quick and easy. Straight back at it. Oh. No more left? Oh, how devastating. Oh, look, 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 look at the jack, look at the jack. Look at the free swimming jack, just there, look. Yep, yeah, got him. Yeah. So I casted a jack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. See, apparently that's meant when they're territorial and being aggressive. Yeah, I just saw him and I was perfect cast and bang. <sighs> so this is the first jack I've banged today. I've lost a couple. I lost one good one. Um, I got, managed to get that barra today and Lee just banged a really, really good fish as you just saw, but that's my first jack of the day. That is a nice, healthy, healthy little jack on the aggressive pro there. We've been at it. We've been on the water since oh probably eight o'clock or so, um, or nine o'clock ish. And finally, it's, it's now three o'clock on the dot. Tides turned, water started to move, and we're starting to bang them. So that's a really, really nice, healthy little jack. But we'll take the hooks out and we'll let them go. Hooks are out, so we're gonna just let them go. Go on. Happy days. Whew. We're gonna keep going. Big barrel, big bar. Oh! Did you see the size of that? No. That was the 70, 80 centimeter barrel, man. Oh. Look how deep he had that. And my drag was too, feel that. <laughs> my drag was too soft, it, it didn't set. Far out. All right, that is the day done probably one of the harder days of fishing I've had to be honest got that one barra today um, oh I lost probably one of the biggest saltwater barra of my entire life just before I don't know what happened I think my drag was too loose but he hit it um, hit my lower as it was coming out of the drain swam straight towards the boat went to set the hooks and it just it just didn't set for some reason I'm not too sure why like I, I think it's a the drag. Um, Lee managed to bang a nice jack to salvage his day which is really 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 awesome. I got that nice jack. It is now about, it's four o'clock on the dot. We haven't eaten since breakfast so it's definitely the compulsory KFC run on the way home. And then, yep, Lee's nodding his head, he agrees. And then, um, yeah, so we're gonna make the run back to the car now and um, go from there. But a really really good day nonetheless. It's always good fishing like you know these kind of systems that you know make even though you don't smash fish all the time it makes you know when you come out here and, and start figuring it out and, and moving and, and finding where the fish are it makes it all more, all more worthwhile otherwise you just it just becomes too easy and yeah so I mean look I'm not gonna say no to 15 jacks in a day but three barra um, two jacks landed um, and a bunch of other fish missed like that's still a pretty good day so yeah, I was pretty happy with that, but let's get to the car because I'm starving. All right guys, we're back at the house after a mammoth drive home and a massive full belly of KFC. Oh, so tired, I'm smashed after a day like that. 
I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's probably, you know, one of the better days of fishing because it wasn't. It was really, really tough, you know. Um, high winds, the tides, where we fish, they just, we expected a meter run, but it just didn't work out for us. The tides sort of only moved for about 20 minutes of the day, and that's when we banged all our fish. Um, all the jacks booked up on those barrel was just sort of in like a 20 minute window, so it was manic for the time that it happened, but it was really, really tough um, for the rest of the day, you know, and um, I guess, Days like that really test your ability and your knowledge as an angler, you know. Um, I've been fishing for a very, very long time and I guess yesterday was, for me, was if they weren't sitting deep, you know, you think outside the square right, if they're not sitting deep, not sitting deep and um, feeding on plastics, right, well, why don't we go shallow and throw hard bodies and just try and mix it up. But my biggest tip would be to look for running water, you know. with it. There's a saying, it's no run, no fun, and yesterday was bang on. When the water was not moving, there was nothing chewing. As soon as we found running water, bang, jacks are on, barrel are on, so just keep moving, you know, think outside the square. If something that's, that you're so used to doing is working, you know, on the days where there's run, perfect, but if there's no run or the wind's different or the water temp's down, try and do something completely different. Look outside the box, you know, look at your surroundings and really try and take it all in because I guess the, the only way to adapt is to just think outside the square, you know, I had to, I've never really struggled like that before in terms of, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours of no fish. I mean, normally we get cod and stuff to keep us entertained, but they weren't even playing the game. So it was really, really tough day. And, you know, Lee and I just sort of have to sit together and just think about what else we're going to do. So just keep moving, keep looking, you know, that the fish have to chew, regardless if it's a run-in or a run-out, the fish have to eat. So just always remember that, stick to your game plans, and have confidence in what you're doing. Even when we did find the fish, it just, it wasn't my day. I just couldn't pull it together. I mean, I managed to land that one barrel up off a flat, um, sitting on some snags, but other than that, it didn't work for me. For some reason, the barrel were hitting the lures in the drain, swimming towards the boat. And as you can see, by the time we managed to wind in and set the hooks, like, they'd already spat it out or they didn't want it, so it just wasn't my day for some reason, but hey, we all have days like that. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you haven't liked the video, make sure you like it as well. And I'll see you in the next clip.